Okay, hopefully you guys are outside enjoying some of this nice weather today, but this book kind of made me think of spring um, since it's so colorful and it's got a bee and a flower. So I thought we would read The Very Greedy Bee. In a busy, buzzy beehive lived a very greedy bee. All the other bees worked hard making honey and cleaning the hive, but the greedy bee spent all day gobbling pollen and guzzling nectar. Slurp, slurp, slurp. The greedy bee wouldn't share his nectar with anyone. He wouldn't even let it. a tired ladybug sit on his flower. Find your own flower, he shouted. This one is mine. And when one day the greedy bee found a meadow full of the biggest, juiciest flowers he had ever seen, he decided not to tell anyone. Yummy, he buzzed. Lots and lots of flowers and they're all mine. Wow. The greedy bee whizzed and buzzed from flower to flower, slurping and burping and growing fatter and fatter and fatter. At last, his tummy was full and he settled down on a big pink flower in the warm yellow sunshine and fell fast asleep. When the greedy bee woke up, it was dark. He tried to fly, but his tummy was so rolly and pulley that he went down instead of up and crashed biff, bang, thump to the ground. I'm scared, cried the greedy bee, and I don't know how to get home. Then he saw two glowing eyes in the long grass. Then he saw two glowing eyes in the long grass. Eek, he cried. A monster is coming to eat me now. What do you guys think it is? But it wasn't a monster. It was two friendly fireflies, their bottoms glowing in the dark. What's wrong, they asked. I'm too full to fly, wailed the greedy bee, and I can't walk home in the dark. Follow us, said the fireflies, and they all set off on the long, long journey home. Through forests of flowers and squishy mud, over the hills and under the stars trudged the greedy bee. He had never walked so far, and he was very tired. Nearly there, called the fireflies. Then they heard the whoosh of rushing water. What do you think is going to happen now, guys? I'm almost home, cried the greedy bee excitedly. It's the stream, and it was, but this his hive was on the other side of it. Oh, no, said the greedy bee, sadly flopping down on the grass. How will I ever get across? We'll help you, said a tiny ant with a big leaf. The ant and his friend flipped the big leaf into the water. Jump on, they cried. Helped by the fireflies, the greedy bee and the ants made their way, splishing and splashing to the other side of the stream. Hurry, I'm home, cheered the greedy bee. Where have you been, asked the other bees. I overslurp, said the greedy bee. I would never have made it home if my new friends hadn't been so kind. Now I'm going to share with my share my best honey with them. Would you like some too? Yes, said the other bees. Let's have a party. Everyone enjoyed a midnight feast of yummy runny honey. All except for one very sleepy, very happy, but not so greedy bee. Okay, hey, hope you guys enjoyed that story. I'll see you hopefully next week.